Hey, it's Erin here from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International. I've recently been shopping for a new coffee grinder. The one I have in my home is many years old and I'm kind of getting the feeling that the blades aren't as sharp as they used to be. And when you enjoy coffee like I do, my coffee machine is right back here, you want to have a good coffee grinder because that helps to extract all the flavors from those coffee beans you probably spend a lot of good money on. So one of the most popular models on Amazon is this one and this is the cafe electric blade coffee grinder it's got a ton of great reviews and they must sell a boatload of these but I really wanted to check and see if something this cost effective could actually do a good job at grinding coffee beans and making really good coffee for me so I picked up one of these on Amazon and decided to give it a try myself. Now, one of the great features of this machine is that it's quite small. I've got it right here. Um, but at the same time, it holds a lot. It holds about three and a half ounces of coffee beans and it'll give you that much ground coffee back. It's got the one button, one touch button operation here on the top. So there's not a lot of settings or features that you're going to have to fuss with. You essentially just plug this machine in and then hit that power button on the top. Now where you get differentiation in the grind of your coffee beans is in how long you hold that button down for and how long you're going to grind your beans for. Obviously if you grind your beans for a longer time you're going to get finer grind whereas if you grind them for just a few seconds you'll get something that's a little coarser. This coffee grinder also operates really quickly. For the amount of coffee that I usually put into it and the fineness of the grind that I like, it often takes me only about 8 or 10 seconds to get the perfect coffee grounds for me. One of the other features I really like about this is that the coffee grounds don't get stuck so much in the bottom of the grinder. Some coffee grinders that I've tried the coffee beans can really get gummed up in the bottom of the grinder and you'll need a spoon or something to get them out. But with this one, I've found that while there's a little bit of residue in there that you can see, most of the grounds come out naturally on their own and they're really easy to get out. So you're not left with a lot of coffee in here that you're going to have to clean out before it goes rancid. Now, one of the other features that I really like about this machine is that it's quite inexpensive and affordable. You can definitely spend hundreds of dollars or more on something like a burr grinder, a, cer a ceramic burr grinder, and those do an excellent job. But if you're not so fussed about the exact fineness of your grind and you're not using it for things like espresso, just for basic coffee beans, a simple grinder like this cafe model here is pretty much all you need. One of the last questions I tend to get about this coffee grinder is, is it loud? I guess the short answer is kinda. It does make a lot of noise because you're grinding beans in a plastic coffee grinder, so it, it might wake somebody else up in the house, but it's not any more, more or less noisy than any other coffee grinder I've used, so I think it's probably pretty much okay. In short, I've really enjoyed using this cafe coffee grinder, this electric blade coffee grinder is what they call it. I think it does a really good job for my at-home coffee brewing just for basic drip coffee and I think you'll really enjoy it as well.